Alrighty, hi guys. Uh, it is February 23rd, a Friday. Let's prepare ourselves for the weekend by doing something just sort of uh, on the cuff, off the cuff, whatever you want to call it. Let's let's do. Let's see what color haven't I done in a while? I have not done a yellow in a while. Let's do a yellow. Let's do a yellow piece of paper. Oh, that's way close up. Oh goodness sakes! Okay, that's better. Um, I'm going to take my my thing here. I'm going to measure out. It's about four and a half by five. So let's do. Let's do every. We're going to do, what am I going to do? If I do, it's not quite five. Ay, ay, ay. What do I do? What do I do to make this a square? We're just going to eyeball it. We're just going to eyeball it. About here. Going to get an approximately four inch square on my page. Is it going to be smack in the middle? No, it's not. It's going to be more like a Polaroid picture. That's okay. That's all right. Now I want to mark half. Mark the number two while I was making that line. Sure, I should have, but did I? Oh, you can't see a thing of what I'm doing. Alright, I'm just making, just making a square, a four inch square on my piece of paper, marking the number two in the middle. Why? I don't know, but that's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm going to take my compass, if I can find it on my messy desk. There it is. Now if I do that, that should come right to the middle. Right? Yes. I want it to be bigger than that. So I'm going to go that far. And then I'm going to draw a cycle from the middle pieces. This should give me some kind of a petally shape that overlaps. Yes, it does. Awesome sauce. That's what I want. Okay. Now I want it a little bit thinner. Oop, wrong way. A little bit thinner. Like, like that. That should also give me parallel lines. my compass in the right spot. Okay. And now I want Middle O 
of here. I want. I wonder if it'll. If I do compass from the corner to here, will it do what I want? I'm not sure. But we're going to try it. Give it a go. I've never done this before, so and then the other direction. Missing one. That, and then we'll make it a little bit bigger. Wrong way. A little bit bigger to make the arm about the same size as I have those other arms. And we're going to go in each corner, both directions. construction marks, do I? But we are constructing something today. What are we constructing today? I do not know. Well, we constructed something. Can you see any of that? It's really, really light, and I know that you can't probably see any of that, but I'm going to draw it now with pen, and I'm going to think about, I'm going to really try hard to think about my unders and my overs, so that I have... I'm going to erase the unders. Not really. Embrace the overs. So that would be under. And then this would be over. I want more of a Celtic knot sort of looking thing. With whatever I just did. Over, this would be under, so it goes this way. Okay. So now this way is already over, so it goes under here. And then it goes over there. goes under here. And then this should already be over, under. This needs to go over. Why is it over and over? Why is it going over and over? It shouldn't. Over, under, over, this should go under. Yes, it should. I did that one wrong. So that goes over, under, over, under. That's correct. Okay. This one goes over, under, over, under. Correct. So then this one goes under, over, under, over. Correct. And then this arm should go under, over, 
under over. Okay, that should be correct. And then this one will go over. This one will go under. Okay, we're going to try this. I, uh, like I said, not, not, not normally my thing to do constructions, but we're, we're just gonna give this a go. First off, we're gonna do a square. On my page. Then I'm going to do some of these lines. So this line goes this way, this way, and then it goes this way, that way. Why am I turning my paper like this? Because this is the way my wrist naturally bends makes it easier for me to draw that line that curve if it's going the direction my hand is already drawing I got a little woggle in there it's all right as long as my overs and my unders are okay your brain will We'll figure it out. A little quiet today. I'm thinking. I'm concentrating. When I concentrate, I get quiet. Um, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. About half of you watch my channel and don't subscribe. And that seems to be the typical. Um, subscriber rate on all of YouTube so it's not abnormal in the wit in the YouTube realm it's just it is what it is am I doing with these? I think I'm going to do like a Rixty or a poke leaf, not Rixty, poke leaf or poke flower, poke, poke root, poke something. We're going to poke, we're going to poke in the middle here, but I wanted, I wanted some that are not organic. 
So I can put some organic ones in here too, I think. But I wanted some planned ones. so that they match the rest of the knot. And then I think we're going to do poke leaves. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, that's cool. Get rid of all my construction lines that I didn't quite stay on because, you know, question is, do I want to add more in here, like, hmm, I'm thinking I want dark. Fill that in first. See what it looks like. We are rushing headlong into March, aren't we? Uh, we have an extra day this month. That'll throw me off. Leap year. Any of you guys uh, have any special occasions on leap day? Or any of you guys married on leap day or born on leap day? Or you know anything else that's happened very 
exciting to you on a February 29? Because that is different. Let me know. When we do our, our video on Wednesday, upcoming, on the 28th, uh, think about it and let me know. I'm going to ask the question again, probably, I think, if I remember. It's a few days away. I may forget to ask, but I don't think we have any significant events in our family lives that fall on the 29th. It would be cool if you had a birthday on the 29th, wouldn't it? Or would that just screw everything up? Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, we had an eventful. Huh. Why didn't I think about this? We had an eventful day the other day. It was checking down rain. And then we had a power failure for about an hour. Right as the sun went down, it was we had just, I mean, just finished cooking dinner, which was a good thing because we have electric appliances just finished cooking dinner. The bread was almost cooked all the way through. At least it wasn't uh, frozen inside. We had a frozen um, garlic bread thing. It wasn't as hot as I would have liked it, but it wasn't frozen anymore. So that's good. We had, um, what do we have? We had chicken. I think it was a chicken and rice dish. I don't know. It was hard to see. I ate it in the dark. We had we had our flashlight, but you know, still. Uh, but it was chilly and wet. But it wasn't just us. It was the whole neighborhood. It was it was a pretty good number of of people because I went to, I used my phone, went to the, the electric company's website and reported the outage and you could see the outage reporting map and there was like a hundred and something people had reported an outage in our area and I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't bother to go to the website and report an outage so it was much more widespread than that but a hundred and some people made a complaint power company and they fixed it in about an hour hour and a half something like that but then that same evening about I don't know another hour or so later we had a 4.3 earthquake that was exciting we could hear it coming it was interesting Earthquakes are always interesting. Um, they always ask if we took shelter. You know, by the time I would have got up out of my chair and got to some place to take shelter, it would have been over. So I don't bother taking shelter unless I'm standing somewhere where... If I'm standing and I'm somewhere where I could get to easily somewhere, I do, but if I'm if I'm sitting or laying down, I tend to just sit there. Uh, we have decorated in such a way that there's nothing that's going to fall on my head unless, like, we have a super severe earthquake. But you know, uh, I'm in the middle of the room. I'm not near any windows or. Appliances or anything that will fall. So I suppose if it shook long enough, I would go, oh gosh, I should probably do something. But most of the time, they are short lived. And by the time you acknowledge in your brain, oh, that's an earthquake, 
um, they're over. And you really don't have time to move. But you definitely, we definitely heard it coming. Um, I thought that was interesting that I could hear it coming because I went, oh, the uh, epicenter is that direction. And when we looked it up, yep, the epicenter was that direction. Came from the east of us. I think I want lines in here. But I want them thicker or closer together here than out here. draw a couple pencil lines as guides. I don't need them to be like super straight pencil lines, but I want to I want to make sure that I'm kind of at a similar angle. Let me go this way. As I come across decide how I want those to go. Those might be crisscrossed. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing. I have done more construction today than I ever usually do. That's interesting. Just a few lines there just to give me some guidance. And then uh, I think I'm going to go and then today we're having a wind event. It's a blustery day. We have winds. Oh, it's, it's fairly steady around 15 to 20. It seems to be gusting, I would guess. My gusts are somewhere in the 30s. Something like that.
lines are not straight. That's okay. Something like that, where it gets gradient. Like that. Okay. You guys could fast forward through this if you'd like. You won't hurt my feelings. I understand. I would fast forward through it too. We're just drawing lines. that Okay, now, what do I want to do with this part? Do I want to go ahead and make them crisscross? I think I do. How much else to say, folks? Ooh, let's do a let's do a question. Let's do a question from the tabletop games. If you could have a giant stuffed animal, what would it be? Well, that's kind of a fun little question. I could have a giant stuffed animal. What, what, what giant stuffed animal would I have? Um... Uh, Fond of stuffed bears. I think of like what would I actually like in my house? Something like that. 
this works. This is working. This is working. Shall we do another question? I think bear is good. Bear is a good answer. Uh, what new breakfast food would you invent? I'm not sure that breakfast needs to have any new food. Does breakfast need a new food? I like breakfast foods. I wish more places had breakfast pizzas. We used to have a place that had breakfast pizza and it was so good. It had a, a white sauce and it had egg and it had bacon and it had sausage. I really liked it. And they don't make it anymore. Well, I think that place went out of business. But more places should have breakfast pizza. There we go. You know, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I want... Is this a Celtic knot? I don't know. Is it? Would it be considered a Celtic knot? Maybe. Oh, I guess I should sign it. Get rid of all my pencil lines. I've got lots of them in this one. I'm going to do a little bit of shading. the shading.
Do you know on YouTube you can set the on the little gear? I think the gear, if you're watching on regular, it's down here or up here. I don't know. Somewhere you can use the little gear icon and you can change it to watch in uh, faster or slower. So if you don't mind me sounding like a chimp punk when I talk, you could just fast me up a little bit if you want. It's up to you. You can do that. I want, I want some. Highlight, but I think I also want some color. I want green. Feeling green. Just the lightest amount of green. grab my white paint pen, the little thin-tipped one, and I'm going to give everything a little highlight. And that will make me happy. Decided my little orbs in here need to be green. I don't know. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Uh oh. I got white where I didn't want white. <sighs> oh, I missed a I missed a spot of green. Were you guys yelling at me? Sometimes you guys do. I hear ya. You missed a spot. All right, think I'm done. Think I'm done. A little bit of highlights and a uh, longer one than I had anticipated. Okay, well, I need to go have lunch. It is 12.30. I'm going to go eat myself something. Uh, and we will be ready for the next uh, videos. The next time I come out here, I'm going to come out here in a couple of days, draw the next week's worth of videos. I uh, am trying really, really hard to get way ahead. So I am drawing these in the end of January through February. I really need to get two months ahead, and I don't think I'm going to go get that far. So when I go on vacation... Um, what is probably going to happen, because I, don't, I just can't seem to get uh, far enough ahead, is that um, 
for the month of April, uh, I will probably, maybe even part of March, I will probably cut down to two videos a week instead of three, um, just so I can um, be away and you guys don't miss too many videos and uh, my channel doesn't drop precipitously. Um, but then that way I will be ahead enough to actually, um, yeah, to actually do uh, enough videos for while I'm on vacation because I am taking taking three weeks for actual vacation, but I'm probably going to take maybe four or five weeks off from drawing. Um, I really need the reset. I really do. Uh, drawing this many videos, taking taking this long every single day is is taxing. Um, and so um, as much fun as I have doing this, and I really do have an absolute blast when I come out here. I mean, I almost didn't come out here today. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I don't feel like it. You know what? Once I got out here, I'm having a great time, but I also have other things I got to get done. So um, I'm going to cut back to two days a week. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, and it should be temporary. And then I'll go back to three days a week, um, probably in the month of May. And I will see you guys on the next video. We're going to end February strong with whatever it is we do. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.